Awesome. So to get things started, let me introduce you to our MC of the Masquerade, Logan. Hello, Ottawa, and welcome to the inaugural edition of Anime Ottawa Masquerade. There we go. There we go. My name is Logan. I also go by Shoulder Cat Cosplay Online. I have been a cosplayer for over 15 years, and it is my honor to be your MC for this evening. You are about to see the amazing talents of these cosplayers of swinging hot glue gun and, you know, gluing your fingers together, the masterful needle and thread work, to almost uh, dribbling off your fingertips. You are about to see the blood, sweat, and tears, mostly tears put into these amazing creations. But you're not here to listen to me talk. You're here to see cosplayers. So let us begin! <laughs> now, we cannot have a masquerade without some judges. So, it is my pleasure to see you, our three judges for the day. First up, Dull Damage. Member of the Doll Damage Cosplay team, Doll has immersed herself in the cosplay universe for 12 years. The sewing, she excels in crafting armor, prosthetics, and wigs, adding new touches to her creations. While she has garnered numerous awards in local masquerades, it is a success of an international contest that truly sets her apart. Representing Canada six times in Japan, France, and Switzerland, she consistently ranks in the top 10 of the crafting chips. As well, in 2024, she will proudly represent Canada at the World Cosplay Summit. Yeah. Go there, make everyone! Yeah. Yeah. Second, Tam Chi Cosplay. Originally from Gatineau, Tam Chi has been cosplaying. 2014, she discovered this wonderful universe through her friends, and since then, this has become one of her greatest passions. She loves everything to do with art, and cosplay allows her to practice different facets of this subject. Since 2020, she has been taking an ecological and economic approach to her craftsmanship, using mainly recycled materials. Tam Chi loves being on stage and participating in masquerades. She stands out for meticulous presentations, which have won her various stage awards. She's always trying to find interesting ways to present her creations, and above all, to entertain or move the audience. And she's also passionate about active lifestyle. She loves running, dance, workouts, weight training, and discovering all kinds of fitness activities. And finally, she's very social and open-minded. Loves chatting and checking various subjects and simply meeting people. She greets you. Let's hear it for Tamchi Cosplay. Woo! Woo! That's my girl. I think you've been claimed. <laughs> Last but certain, not least, Symphony and Silk Cosplay. Symphony and Silk Cosplay. I'm coming out here. It's not good. Symphony and Silk Cosplay is a plus size princess with a deep love of poofy dresses, tutus, and anything that sparkles. 2018, 2011, and it's home to stage magic and costume changes and storytelling to her craftsmanship and petticoats. Gowns become an international master. Internally covered thread, Symphony is excited to support her adopted home community in Ottawa and see the new up and coming and exciting talent it has to offer. Symphony and Silk Cosplay, everybody! Entry number one, in the junior division. Crown Prince of Shin Chialin. I know I butchered that, I'm sorry. On the precipice of war, a young prince contemplates the future of his kingdom. Heaven's official blessing, made and presented by Mayo. Entry number two in the junior division, a thousand cherry blossoms. She has blue hair, blue tie, and hides in your Wi-Fi. Please welcome Miku.
two. Costume source, Hatsune Miku. Costume made, uh, no, costume bought by her awesome mom. And with that, that is the end of the junior division. And... <laughs> as is the magic of the masquerade, we have the rewards ready already. For the Rising Star Award, goes to entry number one. Idol Perfection Award goes to entry number two. just to die for? A backup singer of the newly refurbished Freddy Fazbear's Pizza of 1987. She has a redesigned counterpart from the past, and an improved replacement of a pre-rebuilt incarnation. Withered Chica. Toy Chica! Known for his destructive tendencies and his kind personality. It's the Coral Peacock with 67 stars. Eighth place, the Purple Lord with 51 stars. And the ninth place, the Aqua Deer with 49 stars. And that's all we got? And on that note, the Magic Knight Star Ceremony has come to an end. I trust our squads will continue doing good work in the coming years. <laughs> Because all you do is sit around on your butt and draw stupid pictures all day. Master, please help me out! How did you get so many stars? I don't want to end up a loser! Oh, I'm making me want to help you, little guy! <laughs> this guy's a magic knight, Captain. <laughs> That's entry number five in the novice. 
Cats Division. Source, Black Clover. Made and presented by Cat. Entry number six in the Novice Division. Barbados. The Amino Archon, many may know being disguised as Venti. Just a regular monster bard. Nothing too mischievous he can be up to, right? in the Novice Division. Source, Genshin Impact. Made and presented by Skittles Cause. They're definitely going on an adventure, I love it. Entry number seven in the Journeyman Division. Dark Magician Girl. Long ago, when the pyramids were still young, Egyptian kings played shadow games that threatened to destroy the world, till a brave pharaoh locked the magic away. Five thousand years later, a boy named Yugi unlocks the secret of the Millennium Puzzle. Infused with magical energies, destiny has chosen him to defend the world, just as the Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. in the Journeyman Division. Source, Yu-Gi-Oh! Made and presented by Fae Dreamer. Entry number eight in the Novice Division. Gambler's Delight. Full of insects, dice, and some frills. Behold, Oogie Boogie, the shadow on the moon at night. The sound of rolling dice to me is music in the air. Novice Division. Source, Nightmare Before Christmas. Made and presented by Craven Creations. Entry number nine in the Artisan Division. Tifa Lockhart. Everyone's childhood crush, internationally recognized for her best waifu contributions, and presence in Italian politics. If you know, you know. That was entry number nine in the Artisan Division. Source, Final Fantasy VII. Made and presented by Phantom. Entry number 10 in the Novice Division. Bring it on! <laughs> Get ready for this again!
the Novice Division. Trusty Source, Vocaloid, Project Sakai, made and presented by Cosplays 101. Entry number 11 in the Novice Division. Just keep swimming. Kokomi is here, and in the name of the fish, she'll punish you! in the Novice Division. Source, Genshin Impact, made and presented by Miko Costume and Handmade Props and Other Elements by Anna. Entry number 12 in the Master Division, Dragon Ilulu. She came from another realm to battle with her rival, the Dragon Toru. This warmongering force from the Chaos Faction came to our realm with a firm hatred for humanity. Until she met Miss Kobayashi. The one human who could change her heart. Division. Source, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Made and performed by Uniquely Sierra. Entry number 13 in the Novice Division. Hooray for the old man. Introducing the Crow Father, the Collector of Shiny, the Father of All, the Immortal Angel of Death. in the Novice Division. Source, DSMP, QSMP. Made and presented by Echo. Go, 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 go. Entry number 14 in the Novice Division. Long live the Pumpkin Queen. Sally and Jack are now married, and everything is morbidly perfect. Except that St Sally still feels trapped as a new Pumpkin Queen. Are Jack and Sally truly meant to be? Months have passed after the last battle. Humans of the White Whale have settled down on planet Mira and are tasked to find the lifehold core separated from the ship and explore this mysterious planet. <laughs> Expected hearts, but sound was 
in the Journeyman Division. Source, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Made and presented by Neo Ryu 7. Entry number 16 in the Novice Division. Serial Experiments. Lane, a girl created by the false gods of the wire, a place inside her computers, learns that the digital world is making changes to reality and needs to find a way to stop it. How does she do it? By erasing herself from everyone's memories. in the Novice Division. Source, Serial Experiments Lane. Made and presented by Molly's Melody. Entry number 17 in the Novice Division. Guardian of Love and Justice. Audience participation is welcome in this intro. And I apologize in advance. Fighting evil by moonlight. Winning love by daylight. Never running from a real fight. She is the one named That was entry number 17 in the Novice Division. Source, Sailor Moon. Made and presented by Tiffany Buto. Entry number 17.5. In the Ninja Division. Ninja Shuffle. Logan is to make something up about the ninjas. Previous Hydro Archon, God of Justice, 
Regina of all waters, kindred, peoples, and laws, Lady Karina Capote! Now it's entry number 18 in the Artisan Division. Source, Genshin Impact, made and presented by Royal Tree E.D. Entry number 19 in the Novice Division. Feathered Cloak. She reserved enough seats for the champions who came. Perhaps a merciful punishment, or perhaps a cruel joke. Ada. Division. Source, Identity V, made and presented by Mumo. Entry number 20 in the Novice Division. Not a monster. Now presenting your favorite gender bending, shape shifting, not a girl, but yes, a legend. Nimona! Division, Source, Nimona, made and presented by Luca Arnold, with wig by Dustin. Entry number 21 in the Master Division. Now that I see you, in the Kuka Kingdom, straightforward soldier Hawk and carefree princess Yona were raised together, although from two different classes. When a coup results in the death of the king, Hawk takes on the role of bodyguard for Yona, who is now on the run. Through their hardships, something blooms between these two seemingly different young people. Will their true feelings shine through? Why the tears, Princess? I had a bunch of thorns stuck in my hands when I heard the best way to get them out was with a needle. Did you at least sterilize the metal first? What? You're infected! Your hands are full of disgusting bacteria now and they're gonna rot off by morning! <laughs> Seriously, though. Your hands look like a warrior's, not a princess's. All at once, everything is different. Now that I see. That is entry number 21 in the Master Division. Source, Yona of the Dawn, made and presented by Isobel Cosplay and Morgan Cosplay. Entry number 22 in the Novice Division. Trapped by Chance. Having been voluntold to be a superhero, the Blue Beetle is stumbling his way to best help those around him.
number 22 in the Novice Division. Source, DC. Made and presented by Ivlo Cosplay. Entry number 23 in the Novice Division. A fungus among us. Meet Reyna, the mushroom who has no idea what she's doing, but she'll look good doing whatever. Division. Source, original character. Made and presented by Anya Campbell. Entry number 24 in the Journeyman Division. Alien Invasion. Careful not to be deceived by their elf-like appearance. There's an alien running about the convention. While their main mission is to reclaim the earth they lived on many millions of years ago, this one seems to particularly relish in the pain he causes humans. Number 24 in the Journeyman Division. Source, character, Kishu. Source, don't kill Mew Mew. Mew. <laughs> Made and presented by Fortune Cosplay. Entry number 25 in the Novice Division. Ruby Hoshino. This girl puts her all into following her mother's footsteps. Her eyes sparkle like stars, just like her mother's. Her dream of becoming an idol is being realized, just as B. Komachi is being revitalized. Division. Source, Oshinoko. Made and presented by Gab's Piano. Entry number 26 in the Novice Division. Searching for Truth. As the last survivor for powerful Euro species, her race destroyed when she was only four years old. Seeking vengeance for their demise, she drifts as a skilled hunter and ninja without a clan or home. Kurohana's journey is one of solita solitary pursuit driven by a deep sense of duty and the desire to uncover the truth behind her species' destruction. in the Master Division. Idol Rising. Here to show off the wild and crazy Denpa style, make some noise for your new favorite idol, Riza Aizawa!
That's entry number 27 in the Master Division. Source, Tempangumi Inc., Idol Group. Made and presented by Kiliara Cosplay. Entry number 28 in the Novice Division. Iron Man Mark 39. Jarvis in there. You have to run Not too before you walk. Jarvis, you there? Not your service, sir. That was entry number 28 in the Novice Division. Source, Marvel. Made and presented by Alex the Creator. Base model for the suit from BO3D. Entry number 29 in the Novice Division. Bull Chucker. Coming from Inazuma, the ultimate Onikabuto battle champion of Teibat. Arataki Ito, leader of the Arataki gang, brings the geo damage when he's not getting bailed out of jail by his number two. slaughtered countless men and destroyed many nations. Where is she now? She stands before your very eyes to become your new world. That was entry number 30 in the Journeyman Vision. Source. Final Fantasy VIII, made and presented by Silver Snowdrop Cosplay. Entry number 31 in the Novice Division. Nappa, the most annoying and underrated villain in the series. What is it? We're in prison, Vegeta. I see that, Nappa. So what do we call you? I am Nappa. And this is Vegeta. He was a prison. Shut up, Nappa! Bitch. Uh, uh, Vegeta! Look! A Pokemon. I'm not a Pokemon. I'm Chiaotzu. Chiaotzu! You hear that, Vegeta? It's a Chiaotzu. I'm gonna catch it. I told you I'm not a Pokemon! Vegeta. Vegeta! Did you see me? That was entry 31 in the novice division. Source, Dragon Ball Z abridged, made and presented by Oleg. Entrez numéro 32 dans la catégorie Met. Premier rendez-vous. 
D'un côté, Sonia Neverwin, la princesse ultime. Une femme fière, douce et souriante. Et de l'autre, Gundam Tanaka, l'ultime dérivé d'animaux. Tout au du genre excentrique, et prétend posséder des pouvoirs occultes venant des enfers. Bienvenue dans mon ordre, princesse. Ce soir, je vais vous montrer comment évoquer un démon. J'ai déjà étudié les tueurs en série. Je peux bien m'intéresser à l'occulte. Je suis prêt. Parfait. In the category Master. Source, Dungan Rumpa. Made and presented by Fairy Glitter and Lady Plyer. And yes, I was asked to do this entry in French and English, so. <laughs> also, now I know where the ninjas come from, and I am very disturbed about that premise. Entry number 33. In the novice version. Kazuha. A new challenger lurks in the shadows. annoying pirate who should just go away competition. But more importantly, he's Monkey D. Luffy's biggest fan! Hi everyone, I'm going to introduce you to the Straw Hat crew. First, we got the amazing and inspirational captain, Luffy Senpai, the strong and loyal first mate, Zoro Senpai, the cunning navigator, Nami Senpai, the brave sniper, Usopp Senpai, the fiery love cook, Sanji Senpai, the great doctor, Chopper Senpai, the brilliant archaeologist, Robin Senpai, the super shipwright, Frankie Senpai, and last but not least, the talented musician, Brooke Senpai. The Straw Hat Pirates are the most amazing crew on the sea. Entry 34 in the Journeyman Division. Source, One Piece. Costume made and presented by XX Centaurus. Entry number 35. Out of competition. Protector of love and justice. The goddess of love and beauty has graced us with her presence. She is here to fight off all evil from this planet. She is the one named Sailor Venus.
That was entry number 35, out of competition. Source, Sailor Moon. Made and presented by CCS Sakura Cosplay. And unfortunately, we have now come to the final entry of the evening. I know, I know. However, we've got a few announcements to get uh, through here before we finish off big and strong. First off, Cosplay Awards are tomorrow, 2 p.m. in meeting room B. So please come and cheer on your favorite entries. We need to give out some special thanks. First, to Anime Ottawa for having us here. Now, I want to hear you scream, shout, stomp, everything you've got in you for this next thanks, because without any of the people I mentioned, this show does not happen. I'm not here. Nothing goes on up here. I want to thank the entire Masquerade team from intake, runners, photographers, sound techs, the judges, the entire Green Room crew, and of course, the ninjas! Let's hear for everyone! not least, the man who put all of this together, who brought us all together here to put this on. A giant, massive thank you to our masquerade director, Alan Pune! <laughs> Entry number 36 in the Master Division. ABCs of manliness. Sometimes the best education is hands-on learning. In our state, we all know the greatest friends. So we need something flashy to help you out. The ABCs of manliness. A is for amazing abs. B is for beautiful bars. Beautiful boar. No, beautiful biceps. It's biceps, you idiot. C is for captivating calves. Where are you winking? I don't get it. And D is for delicious deltoids. I like dumb. D's for dumb. No, you're dumb. This is why you get special classes. Oh, we still have the rest of the alphabet to do. Let's go, go, go! And that was entry number 36 from the Master Division. Source, Demon Slayer, made and presented by Foam and Feather Cosplay. And with that, I deem the inaugural edition of Anime Ottawa's Masquerade complete. Thank you all so much for coming. Stop.